In this video, I will compare Shopify versus WordPress for e-commerce. So if you want to sell physical products or digital products online, and you are considering doing that on Shopify or on WordPress, then this is the perfect comparison video for you. And I'll go over which one may be best for you and your specific needs. Now, first of all, Shopify is a pretty well-known e-commerce store builder. And whereas WordPress is more of a general website builder, Shopify is specifically an e-commerce website builder. Now, as I said, WordPress is more of a general website builder and it offers website building for any type of website, basically. But one of their features is e-commerce. And if you go to their plans and pricing, you will see for this, if you want to get WooCommerce, which is the WordPress e-commerce plugin, then you will need to get this plan right here, which if you pay monthly will cost you 70 euros per month. And here you get the optimized WooCommerce hosting and you get product add-ons, unlimited products, premium store themes, and a bunch more. You also get 0% transaction fees for payments plus a standard processing fee. So you will need to pay 70 euros per month to do your e-commerce on WordPress. At least if you want to get the full functionality of WooCommerce. Now Shopify on the other hand, if you go to their pricing, if you also pay monthly, it starts at only 28 euros per month, which is a very good plan for most people. You can already add as many products as you'd like, and it is basically for solo entrepreneurs. Now for small teams, there is a 78 euro per month plan, then an advanced plan at 384 and plus at 2300 US dollars on a three year term. Now in terms of pricing, Shopify is more affordable with the 28 euro per month basic plan, which in my opinion is a very good plan unless you want to have additional staff accounts. Now only if you have a very large business and you need more checkout capacity, you need additional staff accounts, anything like that, that is what the advanced plan is for, which is quite expensive. So should you use Shopify or WordPress? In my opinion, it's pretty simple. If you're looking for the most amount of customizability on your actual website, then I would go with WordPress. Now WordPress, in my opinion, is a little bit more difficult to use and it has a higher starting price. Now Shopify, on the other hand, is easier to use and it is cheaper. So I think it's much better for beginners although it is also being used by very large businesses such as Gymshark. So it definitely also offers the scalability that you may need, for example, with the plus plan, which is 2300 US dollars per month on a three year term. So whether you are a small business or you have a very large business, Shopify can definitely help you if you don't mind compromising a little bit of the customizability of your website and of course, Shopify does have different themes available, but I think WordPress does allow for more customizability again. So if you're looking for an easier option and my personal favorite as well, then that is definitely Shopify with cheap pricing from 28 euros and expensive plans for enterprises all the way up to 2300 USD per month, then go with Shopify. If you don't mind spending a little bit more and having a little bit more complexity, but as an upside getting more customizability, then you should go with WordPress. If you want to get started with Shopify, I'll leave a link to this page down in the description. Through here, you can get a three day free trial and your first month for only one euro, one pound or one dollar, whichever currency you use. And if you want to claim that, click on the link in the description, enter your email address and start your free trial. It will only take about a minute to create your Shopify account and to get started. So that concludes this comparison of Shopify versus WordPress for e-commerce. If this video was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. And with that being said, I will see you in the next video.